Hi everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you how to change the PCB and the LCD in the Ford PSOM. Kind of a low down and dirty way of doing it. Let's say you've already diagnosed yours and you know it's bad. And you pulled it out of the gauge cluster. Here it is. On the back, we have three T10s and the ribbon for the LCD. Now if you wanted to change the LCD, which I'll go over it, there's only two bolts here and here, and it slides out underneath the illumination rail. So let's go ahead and get right into it. You might need one of these. You might need a little T10. Let's go ahead with our little ribbon and another PCB. So, I like to hold it on the sides. The pin stops for the needle can be a little delicate. And before we get too carried away, that slides up on the sides and that wiggles gently out. Try not to manipulate it too much. The LCDs can be a little temperamental. Once we have these three bolts out like this, PCB on the side just wiggles right off. See the four pins? And that's off. So if I only wanted to change the PCB, I would just go ahead and push these four pins in those holes like that and put the screws back on. But since this is off, I'll show you how to change the LCD. It's quite simple. Two screws on the illumination, illumination bar, excuse me. Sometimes they stick. If they stick a little bit, ever so gently, pry just a little bit up, and then rotate towards you, and the LCD just comes right out. And then, Pretending this is the new one that we just wanted to change. It's just reverse order. Gently. Get lined up. Those two pins. Kind of gently press down. Make sure that this isn't in a bind. The LCD is not in a bind. And then you can start the two screws by hand. Now you want to try and use the already cut threads. You don't want to try to recut threads in plastic in general to prevent any cracking from brittle plastic. Don't over tighten these. Just enough. It looks like it's in pretty good. Go ahead and grab our PCB. Slide it on the alignment pins. Give it a little press. And on it goes. Now if these are a little hard to start by hand, always put them on the end of your screwdriver. Usually they'll stay on a Torx head. Sometimes there's another trick to start a plastic as you back it up a little until it falls in the hole and then that lines it up. That way we know it's not cutting new threads. And one more. Oh, there it is. And then the ribbon. Make sure that the lock on the bar is pulled out. Gently get this going. You kind of give it a wiggle and it will bottom out. When it bottoms out, you can go ahead and grasp the sides of the PCB and gently push down, maybe in the center if needed, and that will be even. A little bit of the black reinforcement will show through. That's pretty good. And there you have it. And you can put your PSOM back in the cluster, back in the truck. Thank you much.